what's up guys, Diplex here again, welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2 and the Pacific Mod. We're back here on Okinawa near Shuri Castle. We are about to storm the premises itself. We've actually breached the uh, preliminary walls and we're about to more or less enter the castle gardens and then the castle itself. It's going to be a very, very intense battle. Then again, with Japanese castles, the entire castle was pretty much whatever was within the walls. Have you guys played Shogun 2 Total War? You know how they were laid out. They didn't have a, a square castle with huge walls and towers. It was it was very different. It was more like a complex in a way, like a compound. A compound. That's what I was looking for. So we've definitely breached the castle compound, but we're about to attack the main building, the gardens, and everything else that's so beautiful around here in Japan. So without further ado, this is probably going to be my bloodiest battle uh, so far. It's going to be one of the longest infantry-only battles we've ever done. The Marines are about to charge the the second part here, um, which is the, the final part. And uh, in the previous part that I uploaded, I believe yesterday, it was meant to go up on a Friday, so I missed Friday, which is why I'm uploading two videos today. So be sure to watch the retaking of Trump's wall, which was the first video of today, Sunday, and this is the second one. So it's been a while since I uploaded two videos a day. It's it's been a while since I uploaded one video a day for a whole week, so this might be uh, be some new good times, so to speak. But in the previous part, we stormed the, or actually, we we did all this out here, and this is like hours later. We're we're continuing the fight, so there's practically been not a single pause of fighting since part one. And I think without further ado, the battle is going to be really long. We better start straight away. Into the breach, here's the Forlorn Hope. The first wave to go through these destroyed walls. And it's bloody, they're facing a Japanese machine gun straight away. Japanese mortars returning fire as well. Here on the right side, we have another set of kind of wall in a way. There's a rifleman behind a stone block here. He's currently hidden. He was mortars trying to nail him, so to speak. We have a whole squad that's ready to charge in. If they can attack from the right, they'll have to pass this section over here, which is going to be very unforgiving. Machine guns and uh, well, uh, well entrenched infantry. Mortar knocked out one of the riflemen here, and I think that they're good to go. But they're gonna they're gonna take it slow here to start. There you hear it. Are they going now? Yep. Go 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 go. They're going in. That is so cool. They're going to take it slow and easy over here. They don't know what's around the corner. Most likely Japanese infantry, so they're they're waiting for more reinforcements to arrive. They're sending some men through the center wall now. Look at those machine guns back there. Yeah. It's going to be hard for the Marines to get through here. But they've done pretty well so far. Over on this side, there's a breach too. There's a Japanese machine gunner still active here. Now he's gone. That's the Diplex Curse looking at a position or a soldier, and uh, he will face a terrible death. <laughs> That's kind of what happened. Here on the left side, we have a few more squads trying to break in. They've taken plenty of casualties trying to do so. It's just, it's just dead Marines everywhere here. But uh, the Japanese have not been uh, forgotten either. They have been taking a lot of casualties here early on as well. And I'm really interested to show you some of the more complex uh, Japanese defenses further in. It's going to be a really interesting battle. Once again, it's going to be a really, really long one, so I'm taking it easy here at a start in terms of talking. Otherwise, I'm going to be extremely tired later on. Japanese mortar trucks still active, and it's definitely the kind of battle that starts off a little slow and then really, really amps up, and in the end, it'll be crazy. In the end, it's like a bloody Tarantino movie. Like, it's going to be pretty insane. <laughs> Take my word for that. Ooh, mortars landing pretty close, but close doesn't quite make it. They need a direct hit on that truck in order to knock it out. And the truck is returning fire as well, trying to hit the US mortars back there. It's a mortar fight. Two mortars versus one. I believe the Japanese mortar is slightly stronger, ugh, stronger <laughs> but now it's down and destroyed. Now on this side, uh, the Japanese defenses are still pretty solid. No Marines have attempted to break through. There's a few more moving up. 
but they will probably face the same fate their fellow marines did earlier on it'd be fun to see more infantrymen try and break it up here like i've run this scenario probably a good 20 times just to make sure that it's solid and fair and fun and um this is the first time I'm, I'm seeing such a little troop presence here on this side. Like, this was meant to be stormed and breached by plenty of marines. They were all waiting by the gate, but a lot of were, a lot were gunned down, and many went through the center walls instead, considering the fact that this Japanese machine gun was knocked out pretty early. And when it's knocked out, it's safer to go through here than over here on the right side. So it's interesting how the AI thinks. Got some soldiers moving out now. BAR. There's a barrel in between the rifleman and the gunner. But he's trying to he's trying to get him there. This man needs reinforcements. Where's the backup? We got a rifleman back there. He's like tactically moving up and he got him. The rifleman did not manage to score a hit on the soldier. And it's pretty clear on this side. So the next objective for the Marines attacking here on the right side would be to knock out the uh, vehicle depot back here or to take out the defenders. There's a machine gun, infantry squad and high rank and officer holding that position down so the marines are just trying to get to the japanese positions here and take cover and return fire more marines are rushing in from this side now. now now that this is cleared out this is way safer to approach than out here in the open so it's really fun how the ai thinks it's very clever in, in many ways yeah that approach got a lot whole lot safer now that this guy over here who is now kia oh my god it's seriously the curse of looking at a soldier trying to find something trying to talk about someone and then they die the duplex curse it's, it's real he was a brave soldier he did really well and he opened up that flank so i think all the marines over here are very thankful for that so let's take a look on this side marines are trying to kind of get on the wall here where they can put some fire on the japanese positions back here we have a machine gunner and some infantry as well mortars from the back are trying to support the marines attacking but it's pretty inaccurate fire at this range and without superior spotting it's going to be a little difficult but they're going to try and score a hit and they might and if they will it'll take a lot of pressure off the marines attacking on this side so it's kind of interesting the marines need to also make their way up here to the right um, kill the defenders over here and then secure this castle garden by doing so, they can flank in from behind and knock this position out here. This is a very well-defended uh, house. If you follow me on Snapchat, you saw this position uh, quickly previewed, and it's it's nasty. It's, it's great. It covers this entire opening, and this open area here is where the Marines will have to go next here from the right side. So, A lot of explaining. I feel like I've just been explaining the battle so far. But there's very much to enjoy, and there's much later on to enjoy even more once the battle really, really kicks up. Once these two marine sections actually link up in the gardens and then push forward in union against the castle. There will be so much fighting. All these positions are decked out with Japanese defenders, machine guns, and trenches, and everything. It's going to be so crazy. Might even see some hand-to-hand -hand combat if we're lucky. Machine gunner down here on the left side. So, look at all these Marines moving up now that it's been cleared out. You want to, like, use very few at a start to kind of inch your way in and, you know, test the defenses, you know, exchange some fire. Once you've knocked out a position, then move in the rest, like, because numbers don't win fights here. Marksmanship and position does. And then you can bring in the rest. You don't want to bottleneck your whole, your whole squad there and just get mowed down. I believe the Marines are kind of testing the defenders on this side. I'm not sure how that guy got through. Most possibly through this wall. But then he would have been from the left squad or the left flank. And I'm not entirely sure he was. Could have just been a lucky runner. To actually make it through behind the house and then to get shot on the other side. This is where it's... Ooh. Jeez. So this part has been secured now. Mortar did the final work on this position. But I believe the mortars can... Just barely hit the troop. Oh, geez, they're hitting the troops inside the building. Very nice. That's a rare, rare spot. Um, I think that that must have been a lucky shot because the mortars range end right about here. After this, the U.S. mortars won't be able to bring any fire support down on the troops in the garden area itself. So it's going to be a lot more devastating in there. But uh, that's crazy. That's a good shot. Good job for the Americans. Uh, let's take one of the Japanese defenders here. Let's crew that machine gun. 
That would be the only logical thing to do. Marines are moving up on this side. The main assault over here is going to be very dependent on the success of the troops here on the left side. Because if they don't secure this castle guarding quickly and flank in from behind and take out the defenders in the house, then uh, trust me, the um, Marines attacking here down the main entrance are going to have a very, very hard time. And it's already starting to look a bit like a bloodbath here with about one or two squads being massacred by Japanese machine gun and rifle fire. There's some troops here to the right side, which could be a distraction, but there's plenty of cover and ground to take uh, in order to fight those guys later on. So the main key issue will be the soldiers here in the building. Once that machine gun is down and the riflemen on the side, and especially the defenders up here close to the, uh, the entrance itself, it'll be pretty easy. I think that might be the break they need. And if they manage to do that, they don't necessarily... Look at that, it's just gruesome. They don't necessarily need the troops here from the left flank to come in and secure the, uh, the, the garden so quickly. I think the, the U.S. are going with the strategy of sending just a few in at a start. Kind of inch their way in and see what they see. They could send in a heck ton of troops, but it would most likely be too risky cost too many casualties for the Americans. Then again, sending too few in at a time is almost a waste of manpower, so they're going to start sending in a few more now. There's just so much Japanese fire. Do you see that? They got a few in, though. Hand grenades are coming out. Hand grenades are being thrown like crazy. Oh, jeez. It's just a slaughter hole. Oh. One Marine is going to patch up. He's actually lucky to be alive. They're even trying to nail him behind the sandbags. Jeez. Plenty of dead comrades on the side of him. There. Oh, and he's going to stand up at the wrong time and get shot down. We'll see what progress the Marines can make on this side. They have some flanking opportunities. There's more troops coming up here to the left. But their goal is to secure the garden first and to allow the Marines here on the right side to make more moves on the enemy. And then once they've secured the garden, they will unify and then move to castle itself which is by the way is a beautiful beautiful building look at that mm -hmm. very cool indeed I think the mortar support back there was sufficient enough to that one lucky hit in the building itself was definitely enough to Take some pressure off of the troops attacking on this side, and uh, I, I dare say it's just so random. I've never seen it before, and now it happens, and all suddenly the Marines attacking on this side are probably going to be the ones aiding the Marines on the left side, other than, or instead of the Marines on the left side, aiding the Marines coming down the center here, or the main gate. Like, that's, that's very cool. So we're having a completely different experience, or I am, rather, having a different experience, because every time I make a mission I always test it so many times ahead of, of recording uh, sometimes days ahead just to make sure that it's exactly what the best scenario could be for the viewers and the, and, and everyone else enjoying it so um, it's just really fun for me to have seen it so many times and then to see a different thing for you it's the first and only thing you'll see but me having seen it so many times to get a variety or in a different outcome and a different way it's a different progress rather I'm, I'm sure the outcome might be the same but to see a different progress it's just it's just really fun it's uh, just always makes me smile yeah it's definitely gonna be the marines here on the right side look at them now storming the building they're gonna be coming out punching on the other side soon Some are already making it through. There's um, there's not a hole in the wall here, so the only way to get through is through this main building. And I believe the Japanese have that pretty well covered. But they're rushing through now. They're getting a lot of manpower through. And that is going to uh, hopefully be enough distraction for the troops here on the left side to then break through. One guy's going to go for it. 
what success will he reach? Took so much fire, it wasn't really any good. A few more coming through. Grenade being thrown. Yeah, the Marines are kicking ass around this side. They're really breaking it through now. Those guys come all around the side. Oh, dude. Oh, that is nasty. Light machine gun fire to the back like that. Okay, Marines are pushing through now. Starting to get some good hits on the Japanese defenders. But those grenades, man. There's still a whole squad here in the center by this flag. That's just really covering a good perimeter. They got troops back here to cover this side. I don't know why they haven't sent in more troops down this way, like on this left side of the wall. You just gotta move up on this side, and then you can break through. You can shoot these guys in the back, and then find cover. Problem is, you're gonna be exposed to all of these troops over on this side, if you enter through this farmhouse left gate. And that is... can be very un unforgiving, I'm sure. But I think we're seeing some real progress now. Troops actually making it through this right gate without being instantly killed. Machine gunner inside the building have been killed along with another soldier. That's gonna be a big breakthrough for the Marines from on this side. Do we have any hiding in the bushes here? Oh, that's a rare occasion. Hardly any Marines. Oh, there's a few here. Keeping the enemy close, you know? <laughs> Damn. That was cool. There we go. Submachine gunner got through and just almost mowed them both down. He got one guy, but not quite both. More Marines coming through now. This type, is it a Type 100 SMG? Spraying wildly, grenade being thrown over the house. This guy is hardcore, but he's finally brought down. And more Marines will be storming through now on both sides. Battle for the castle gardens has turned in the favor of the Marines now. So starting to get a lot more ground here. There's a position all the way back here, though, that covers the garden nicely. Pretty much the majority of the garden itself. But there's little to no cover even to get here. So how the Marines are going to deal with this will be interesting to see. There's a way they can flank around the gate here, or the, the, the wall, and kind of remain on the far side and out of the, the main line of sight of the machine gun, and then come up from the, the side here. There is, however, just a soldier here, though, that's keeping them in and check so I'm not entirely sure how the Marines are gonna deal with that you'll see all that blue tracer fire from the type 1 HMG back there doing all the work that's pretty cool to see sorry about that doorbell I have no idea who that is most likely my grandmother She's usually Likes to, I don't know, check in, but no matter how many tell, times you tell an old person that you're working, well, maybe not necessarily an old person, but I think my grandmother's got, like, senile or something, so she, she doesn't really remember anything. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely her. Or something, I don't know. Flanking around on the right side now. Very nice. Machine gun still covering the center of the garden. Damn, look at all this fire. They're flanking more heavily left now. It's kind of nice to see. Damn, the fire back there is just blowing these guys away. Truly devastating. 
soldiers over on this side are starting to take some casualties. Yeah, the Marines are inching closer and closer. Ooh, but that machine gun is still spinning. It's only the machine gunner himself now and the uh, the co-gunner. Taking a lot of long-range fire from back there by the house. It's pretty cool. Not going to lie. You can see how long that thing keeps spinning. It's going to even be shooting at some of the troops on its right flank. More and more troops are running in now. But this machine gunner is still like covering the, like, I'm really, he lost his co-gunner, so it's only a gunner left now. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, if it wouldn't be better if the Marines just focused on the machine gunner. I think they're distracted by too much of the stuff that's going on back there. But they're starting to unify now. The troops from the, the main area back here Moving out and joining the Marines on the left who have more or less gone even further left. Almost to a point where they will be attacking the, the castle courtyard uh, more directly rather than joining up with the Marines here on the right side. But that is uh, totally fine, I presume. That takes heat off of the guys attacking through the center and the gardens. Machine gunners still alive. It's cool, though. I think the AI ought to focus on bringing him down. He's not that well entrenched. He's got... There we go. That's some accurate fire. I wonder how many guys he cut down. It's hard to see with all the bushes. But let's get a little preview of what I mean when I say the bloodiest battle. Yeah. The red are the Marines and the yellow are the Japanese around here. And you can tell that pretty much all the center and all the guys around the, the, the sides here. And I'd say that a fair share of all the men here in the center are casualties of the machine gun itself. We can actually probably check... 63 men dead, 63 casualties from a machine gunner here on the flank. That's some D-Day statistics right there, if not even a lot less, but still very gruesome. Cool to see, still, that one unit can cause so much damage. It'll be interesting to see if we can find some real battle veterans later on here out of the, the Marines attacking who could have really killed a lot of troops and whatnot if, they, if they're still alive because someone that, that spawns early on and kills a lot of Japanese soldiers might just be um, might just be killed towards the end and then we won't really find out but uh, it'll be fun to see if we have any alive look at the force the firepower that's like being gathered up around here right now so much firepower the Marines on the right side are linking up with the guys on the left and they're bringing a lot of firepower to the table. And this whole center position here is just being absolutely destroyed. A lot of Marines taking casualties, trying to flank though, but uh, they're moving up. These guys are hitting up the troops there by the sandbags. If they can kill them. Oh, they're even trying to flank around, but that's not a good idea. Oh, jeez. Some are even trying to rush closer to the... Jeez. Just really going for it. Yeah, they need to kill the Japanese defenders by the sandbags over there. And we have a few troops here by the wall who's trying to do that. They're aiming them down. They're moving up. There's one guy alive over here. He's standing up. He's going to get shot down. There we go. I knew that. So, like, a hundred guns on him over here. Look at them charging down the center now. They're getting to the building. The building is taking so much fire. There might be a little indoor combat over here. We have a... Uh, we're going to look. Some grenades being thrown. Lots of automatic fire from the outside just pouring down on the building and the, the defenders inside are more or less entirely killed. It's a wipeout. It's a, just a straight up wipeout. I really hope that was my grandmother calling the door because I can always just like ring her door later or something. But if it was like a guy to drop off a suitcase with like two billion dollars, I would have just not wanted to miss that. It's in my head like what if it was a guy who's going to ring the door and say, hey, can you hold on f to my Ferrari for 32 years? I'm not saying that that would have happened but it's like you don't open the doors you're never gonna find out it's like the same thing with phone calls you don't answer them you're never not, not gonna find out what they want to say you gotta take the chances what is this mortar doing 
No. Mortar. No. I I caught you being stupid. I caught you thinking you're a battering ram and that this is the six uh, the twelve hundreds, but it's not. It's not the thirteenth century, okay? You're a mortar team. Act like it, god damn it, Marines. God damn it, Marines. But uh, please do use your mortar. We do appreciate that. I think the Marines need to knock those guys out. Not gonna tell you too much, just shoot at what matters. With your precious ammunition. Grenades are being thrown though, that's nice. And some Marines are starting to come around the flank here. Very hazardous move. And the Marines trying to actually breach out through the center. Not so many have tried yet. That is gonna be deadly. I think they're gonna stack up on the inside walls pretty soon. Jeez, look at this. This is like such a massive assault. And there's so many Marines involved. This is most likely my bloodiest battle yet. I mean, there's hundreds of Japanese defenders. There's like a whole battalion defending the center now. We got regiments of Marines attacking. This is just insanity. That mortar team is safe enough behind there, but you can never know for sure. I have a little surprise for everyone later on too. I think everyone will enjoy that as a part of it, as an epic kind of display. Oh, hand grenade. Oh, what? He ran the wrong way. And he ate the nade. Oh, there's, a, there's, there's enough space and room to move out to actually put some fire on the the, uh, the defenders without getting instantly shot. A few marines just proved that. And so far they haven't really been body stacking all too much. They could though if they get overzealous. They're gonna like stack behind here and reload and recharge and... Look at everything we've conquered back here. There's still marines like moving in in the area. Next squad is coming in. They're just running past piles of dead bodies and blood and weapons and everything. It's really gruesome. Marines over on the left side and really never linked up all too much with the Marines down the center. There was a few who came up on this side who did, but the rest are now committing to the attack on their side. Which is a very gracious task. What are we trying to hit? I think we should try and aim for the uh, soldiers all the way back there, maybe. Get some good shots further back. Do some damage, boys. The most upfront defenders are not really a problem to the Marines. It's going to be the massive, massively fortified troops back here. There's just so many. There's so many machine guns, too. We got machine guns on both flanks. Just putting away at the enemy attacking. Look at that. That's a cool screenshot, bruh. Nice. The <laughs> nice. And then we got another machine gun on this side opening up. Doing the work. The work of the Emperor. Mortar landing close. And the Marines are starting to kind of make its way to the sandbags down here. Nice. We don't like wall hugging, so I'm gonna send a free I'm gonna send a few men through. So many Japanese soldiers back there, it's insane. Alright, we don't want them in a squad, because squads get you killed. That's how it works. Fellas, squads will get you killed. And then we have a little too many maybe coming around the flank that they can't really cross into later, so... We don't want that either, so we'll send them up there. In a way, I'm still responsible for the lives of these Marines. Do you hear me, Major? Ooh! Direct hit in the mortar back there on the... Uh, Bloody gun, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Another lucky shot. Haven't seen that before. Cool stuff. I, I'm, I, this, is, this is still... No matter how many times I'm replaying this with the GEM editor, the reason why I'm, I'm always, more or less always excited is because you never know how the battle's going to go. You never know if you're going to see some movement you haven't seen before or some, some unit performing exceptionally well or infantry taking one or another path. You just never... No, you, you never know. You will never know. We will never know. 
I've gotten surprisingly a lot more hyped since the start of the video too. I don't know if you could notice. I, f I kind of felt like a little tired when I entered it. Been a lot of work today. I've worked probably more than 12 hours right now. And, um, you know, while it's fun and while I enjoy my job. And I'm sure everyone out there tries to enjoy their job too. Or has one that they really do enjoy. Um, work is still work. I'm, 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 I love sitting in front of the computer and writing emails and editing videos and creating stuff on, you know, but it's still... Still a lot of activity. Still a lot to do. Jesus, look at that back there. That's crazy. But yeah, this machine gun is just doing it. He's uh, not a problem. Let's see how many casualties this guy has inflicted, as an example. 25, so not nearly as much as the other one has on the other side. And this guy is up at 16, which is not a lot. The one in the center that was destroyed, we can't find out. What about if we take a, a house machine gun back here? house machine gun back here main entrance has it been destroyed yeah it has Jeez, they've been doing work the mortars have been like just eradicating them completely they're getting closer though Japanese defenses are weakening there's a few men remaining there's probably about a platoon defending but they're getting shot down use Marines are oh that mortar landed perfectly fine Look at that machine gun. He's going for it. I'm gonna... Since I've been helping the Americans just a tiny bit, I'm gonna... Take this machine gun and help the Japanese a little bit. Try and inflict some more casualties. Try and hold... Oh, jeez. They're blown off the more, er, the machine gun itself. God damn it. Stay down, dude. Stay, oh, I tried to get him to stay down by moving him out and then trying to get him to crouch. But I don't think that worked out well. You just need to live. You need to live. You need to carry on the legacy. You need to you need to go and just pick up that MG. Don't stand up when you're doing it. Thank you. Hey, I haven't seen that before. Just lay there and just cover that cover that. Angle. Make it cool. Make it cool. Make a cool last stand. Marines. We are securing the courtyard. Oh no. Billy boy over there is going to ruin it. You hear him? He flanked around. What a cheater, man. Okay, I guess not a cheater, but Sir, we're about to storm the castle. There's, there's got to be plenty of office. They're coming out! Banzai! Got him down, boys! They're coming out with their bayonets fixed. It's a slaughter. It's a glorious, honorable last charge. Not to surrender. Not to give up. But it turns out to be a slaughter. we got men crawling around over here. Oh, and they're gunned down. There's so much fire. Oh, what a glorious, glorious fight. That was pretty freaking cool. And the Battle of Shuri Castle is more or less over. Marines have secured Okinawa. What a, let, let me clarify. Let, the red will be, the red will be the Americans and the yellow will be the Japanese. But if it's going to hurt your political correctness, or actually it has nothing to do with political correctness. This is, these are player colors, okay? What, have you ever seen, like red would, would technically be more suitable for like the Russians because the communist flag is red and you know, you, you connect it like that. It's just, yellow is player zero or uh, yellow is friendly. Yellow is friendly. So if I'm friendly, if, if I'm player zero, then yellow will always be my team and red will always be the enemy team could have been blue i mean blue and red makes more sense mil mil military wise i don't know why they made them yellow but anyway so it happens to be the japanese are the defenders and the defenders are usually the friendlies so they'll be jello and yellow someone commented it and thought i was being racist for, for them being yellow but that's not how the game works like i don't even know i bother spending so much time correcting people but a world with with wiser people and more knowledge is is a better place so keep Learning, keep teaching, okay? The teaching never stops. But anyway, back to the point I was trying to make to show how devastatingly brutal this battle has been. You can just tell how many Marines have been cut down here, everywhere. That almost rhymed. It did rhyme. Jeez, it's like probably the bloodiest infantry battle I've done so far. There's just casualties everywhere, and there's still Marines coming into the celebratory party inside the castle. There's a guest list, though, so get in line. Alright. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys soon again. Ciao.